All right, all right, all right. So I posted a question on Twitter and it said video suggestions. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what type of suggestions the audience is going to say, hey, I want a video on this or I want a video on this. And I was thinking just to maybe get shilled some altcoins, but there was actually some pretty interesting video topics. And this is one of the ones that was my favorite. The question was how to properly use all the different tools on a block explorer, track wallets, and make notifications to check the token stats. Well, I'll try to keep this video nice and simple and easy to do, but this is what I do. Let's say, for example, uh, we're gonna use Dex Screener for this. Let's say, for example, you're looking at a token and it's called Phantom. Now, I'm just using this as an example, but you can theoretically do this with several different tokens. If you go on to Dex Screener and you're like, okay, I wanna take a look at the Phantom token and I wanna look for buys and sells over 300,000. As you can see, this is what I did here. Dex Screener only has a seven day window, so do keep this in mind. You can do this same thing for something like Uniswap, SushiSwap, etc. You just have to go into the metrics of each of them. But I'm gonna go ahead and use Dex Screener and I'm gonna use SpookySwap and I'm going to do $300,000. I want to analyze this transaction here. That was a buy. Here's the transaction hash. They ended up buying a bunch of Phantom around 33 cents. And as you can see here, the price of Phantom is around 42 cents. But let's go ahead and analyze their transaction. This takes us over to this hash over here. It says $300,000 for some wrapped Phantom. And it's also known as Phantom. But I have their wallet address. This is what I need. So I can copy this and I can throw it in over at DBank, as I did right here. He has most of his assets on Phantom. He's got $3.2 million. We only saw a transact, well actually 3.5, but 3.274 on Phantom. We only saw a transaction of $300,000. Where's the rest of this money coming from? We well, can go back on the Phantom Explorer, you can go here or on DBank, but I'm gonna show you on the Phantom Explorer and show you the different tokens that he has. And I'm also gonna go add on DBank as well. We can see here, he's got some wrapped Phantom, he's got a bunch of Phantom in his wallet, He's got some day stablecoin, some deuce, and USDC. Now we're just thinking to ourselves, hmm, that's interesting. And he also has some like KAE token. I don't even know what the junk this is. Like seriously, I have no idea. Maybe it's a meme coin, whatever. But the point is, is he's got it in his wallet. He's got some money and he seems to make a successful trade on Phantom. Now this isn't a tall tale sign. This is just something you want to look into. But he has deuce and day. What are these tokens? Like, really, what are they? Let me go ahead and check out his DBank history. I'm gonna go under his history, see what this guy's been doing. He's been using one inch. He's actually been selling some of the Phantom into USDC. That's weird. He was just buying Phantom the other day. Is he just making a quick trade? Like, literally, this guy is swapping a bunch of Phantom for USDC. If we scroll to a few days ago, you guys can see here on 515, um, on May 15th to be exact, he was actually swapping some USDC for Phantom, $250,000 worth of USDC for some Phantom. Now, this wasn't once, he actually did this several times. Like here's another $200,000 one, here's another 219,000. And it looks like maybe he was just repaying his loan that he had for Phantom. Because you can see here that it was minus 400,000 Phantom, he was repaying his loan. So what was this guy doing? Was he shorting Phantom? Was he purchasing? Well, we saw on his wallet, he had a bunch of Phantom. As you can see here, he made another purchase. But now it seems that he is selling some right now. So you can kind of look through his history and see what he's doing. Now, I'm not gonna go through his trades and analyze them and see what he's doing. I'm more so going to analyze the coins that he's swapping for. Like right now, it seems that he's accumulating this deuce token. What is this deuce token? In fact, if we specify and look at the deuce token in general, this guy has been building some bags of this thing. I mean, he's been purchasing this since, he's also been buying day and or swapping it for deuce. He's been doing this for the past week, two weeks. Maybe it's even longer if we scroll down lower. Yeah, this is from May 24th. This guy's been accumulating deuce. What is so special about this deuce token? So if we go back on the Phantom Explorer, let's go and go under this deuce token. And it has a link to the website, CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, whatever. You can look at several different things. Let's just go and go over to CoinGecko. 
So we click on the CoinGecko link and it takes us over to Deuce Finance. Now if I look on CoinMarketCap for Deuce Finance, if you scroll down, this is kind of what the price chart is looking like. It's uh, whatever, interesting. But we notice he's accumulating a bunch of this token. Where can we learn more about this? Well, here's the website link. We can go to the website, we can read into Deus Finance, and it says it's a marketplace of decentralized financial services. We provide infrastructure for others to build financial instruments. So it seems like it's a pick and shovel play for other people. It's allowing people to have synthetic stock trading platforms, options, futures, etc. So that, that's pretty interesting. I, I, I like this. Um, who's behind this? Like, who's involved in this? Who are the part? Oh, okay, he cool. Here's some hangouts. Here's some meetings. I can listen to some AMAs. Um, okay, this is cool. This is cool. So scrolling through the website, it kind of talks about here. It says the Deuce ecosystem con consists of two tokens, Deuce and Day. Oh, wait, that guy was buying that Day stable coin. So currently the Deuce token utility embedded. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So minting day will burn Deuce. Okay. So that's a form of value capture that for lack of a better word, that does remind me of Luna. So I'm like, oh, I, I don't know, man. Um, this is, I don't know. Like Luna just did its thing. I, I don't know if I can take this one. What What is this one? Oh, it's fractional. Okay. So there is some actual collateral behind this. Use this collateral mechanism. Okay, so it looks like it may be like a Frax model. So it's not fully algo like Luna. So maybe it has some potential. Now at this point in time, I see the value capture. I like the concept, uh, the idea, and what they're looking to do. I mean, because derivatives, futures, options, trading commodities, that's huge. That's massive for the blockchain. And the stinking thing is only a $24 million market cap. It checks off a lot of boxes for me. So I think this is pretty interesting. Now my next step would be to listen to some AMAs, listen to the team, and see if it's something they're up for the challenge. Now with a token like this, you can look at the chart as well and be like, wow, this thing was trading at a thousand bucks, what happened? You can kind of go into the Discord at this point, try to figure out what's going on, why did it come down so much, what happened, was there FUD, and why is this guy accumulating this deuce token? Okay, so here's how you can check to see who the other holders are of this deuce token. You can actually go straight to the deuce token on phantom scan and you can scroll down and look into all the different holders i clicked on this button here because you have transfers holders info we're at the deuce token contract so what we're looking for is we're just going to see some other significant holders these stand for a contract sometimes they don't have that and it's still considered a contract but you kind of just have to click and choose between each of these wallets and you see who this token holder is I just clicked on this guy and his token holder. I want to see what else he's holding. It looks like he holds a little bit of LQDR, but maybe he has some stuff staked on screen. Maybe he's farming. I don't know. So we're going to go on the big screen with his wallet on uh, DBank. So I'm going to copy his wallet address and I'm going to go directly on DBank. Let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see what this guy's got. So it looks like he's just got most of his money in deuce. So nothing special, whatever. Let's go ahead and go to someone else. And the reason why I'm picking on deuce is because it, it seems that this guy, he bought it early on, like in March timeframe. And if you look at this chart, he knew something because in April, this thing peaked up to $1,000. Now he didn't sell it. So it's not like he knew something. I mean, it's just one of those things. He picked a, an interesting coin. So maybe he picked some other interesting coins. This is why I'm picking on the deuce token in general. And the concepts were pretty interesting what they're doing. So we already got our next wallet address and we already deemed, okay, they're only holding deuce. So let's go ahead and take a look for some other deuce tokens. So we're gonna go back to the deuce contract address right here and we're gonna hit deuce. Now we're gonna go to the holders and we're gonna hit deus. So we hit deus again and now we're gonna go to the holders and look for another holder. And we're just gonna, I don't know, pick this guy right here. And we're gonna open up his page and we're gonna go to his token holdings. You can see here, most of his tokens are in Deuce. Nothing special, same junk, different day. You can go through each and every wallet and do the same junk, different day. You can copy it, you can post it in DBank and see what they're doing. If they're doing something interesting, great. If not, well, move on to the next. So to sum it up, that's how you can surf through all these different wallets. You can look into their wallet address, see what tokens they're holding, and especially if the token did really successful and they bought it before it happened, and if they even sold at the top, that's even better. 
but figuring out which tokens they found a lot of success in is an important factor. You can also do this with other tokens as well. So say for example, a token that just completely popped off and was amazing. Let's say it was the spell token. Back in the time when it was going nuts and ham, looking for someone who bought it before it went to the peak. And if they even sold at the peak, that would be even better. How did they find that? What were they looking for? What coins are they investing in now? Have those coins they bought popped off already? Those are different metrics you guys want to look at. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to look into different wallets, how to track them on the contract addresses and see what other tokens people are investing in. If you guys enjoy content like this, make sure you guys give a like, a subscribe, and if you guys would like to join the Discord to see what I'm doing in the market and different strategies I'm in in the market, you guys can jump in the Discord. Link's in the description below. Let's go ahead and hit you guys with a wisdom one-liner. We're in Proverbs chapter 15, verses 29. The Lord is far from wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. He takes care of everything, man. He always does.